Hello, it's Jay here again, and welcome to another tutorial. So, in this lesson, we're going to fix the cursor problem with the fast travel script. So, just like in the last lesson, if I try and fast travel by pressing T, the cursor will lock for a moment. I don't know if you can see the flash in the video, but it sort of flashes up, then disappears again. And I have to it's escaped to try and free the cursor. So, luckily, this is nothing we haven't done before. So, I'm going to open the inventory script. And, as you can see, I definitely need to tidy up the comments. This is, again, due to me changing the font just I've been experimenting with different fonts and sizes just to make it easier for you all to see in the video so but I'll do that off camera but let's come down and we want to find here the inventory open function and what we're going to do is copy this line. So, where we get the array of the mono behavior scripts, we're going to copy all of this right down to here, where we say find the player and get the inventory script and set it to enabled. So, let's just copy all of that. We're going to come to our fast travel script and again we'll need to actually find the correct point which is here in ft underscore idle so where we set the cursor to be visible and we unlock it let's just paste all that code in and what we're going to change is this line here and I'm sure you've guessed, we're going to change this from inventory to fast travel. And we'll also change the comment. And I'll just quickly tidy everything up. And let's save that off. So again, it's just to avoid conflicts, we're going to disable all of the scripts on the FPS controller apart from the fast travel script. So let's hit play and we'll see if the cursor remains unlocked. So we'll hit T and as you can see, we can now move the cursor. So we've only got to relock it now. And again, we can come to the inventory script. And again, from this point where we get the array, or we create an array of mono behaviors based on the all the scripts attached to the player. And we can copy all of this to this point here for each mono behavior script in underscore my scripts. And that's in children because we have to make sure we do it for the scripts in scripts and the scripts that are tied to the child game objects. So let's in fact let's put this in its own function i'm going to come here and i'll create a new void fast travel re enable scripts you can name it anything you like let's open and close we'll paste that in and again, we'll just tidy everything up very quickly. And let's just copy this naming convention. So let's scroll right up to the very top here. So we'll come 
to cancel fast travel and what we're going to do is call that function so open and close brackets close the line off call and I'll paste the name of the new function in and I'll just put function on the end so let's just copy the entire line so we have to scroll through and everywhere we state we want to relock the cursor we just need to paste that line in so it's just case going through so there's one in reset idle we don't need it and choose fast travel destination we'll paste that in and I think that's the last place so let's save that off we'll downsize mono develop and we'll test it out again so again we'll hit play and as you can see we can fast travel now so let's fast travel and as you can see the case is relocked which is good so let's try and open the fast travel and then we'll try and cancel the fast travel so we'll press t again and the case is relocked so it's relocking when we cancel the fast travel and when we actually tr fast travel so it's locking up again the cursor at the correct points and it's unlocking at the correct point when we try and select a destination so um i'm going to leave this next part entirely up to you so what i'm going to do is copy this public 2d texture underscore fast travel fade screen let's paste that in and i'm just going to change this to background screen and of course if you don't wish to have a background screen for the fast travel you know you can always leave that out i will leave it entirely up to you because as i always state we all have different projects and different things will suit different projects so i shall leave that entirely up to you and let's just copy this line here gui dot draw texture fast travel fade screen and we'll paste it and let's just have those in now we'll need to disable this um let's have a look let's come right at the very top here and let's put a if block in place if and let's have a look what we actually gave as a naming convention so there's the reset here's the idle camp player fast travel so we'll use that if player cannot fast travel is equal to false so let's copy that line and we'll just paste that in we'll come to the end of the line in fact we don't need to open and close because this is actually recognized as one line so let's just tidy this up and draw the background screen so let's save that off let's downsize this for now 
I'll just reuse the pause background again and let's hit play. So now we have a black texture that um, comes on when we try and fast travel. So that's working rather nicely. Now and we'll stop there I think so this is our fast travel script now complete so I have a few ideas of what to do next I was considering doing the vehicle script next however if you have any requests of what feature to implement next please leave them below obviously if I get no replies the next lesson we will start creating the vehicle script so as always I hope you enjoyed this lesson I hope to see you next time and until then as always bye for now